One of Desktop Server's most powerful features is its ability to create blueprints. Blueprints are an easy way to set up a local pre-configured WordPress website which might have a standard framework, theme, or plugin already installed and ready to go so that once you've created your local site, you do not have to install and configure it before you get started. Today we're going to cover one of the easiest ways to create a blueprint and I'll show you how just a few minutes of your time to create a blueprint will save you hours of time down the road. For this video, I will be setting up a basic website with a custom theme and plugin, turn it into a blueprint, and then install a new local site using that blueprint. So let's get started. Our first step is to start up desktop server and start web and database services if prompted. Click Next. Once the services have started, click Next again to get to the main menu. If you are not prompted to start these services, then that means that they are already running and you should be at the main menu. I'm going to create a new website using a standard WordPress 3.8 blueprint, which is simply the zip file which can be downloaded at wordpress.org and then copied into your blueprints directory. This will be the basis for my blueprint that we are creating. Name your new website and choose where you would like it to reside, if needed, and click Next. Desktop Server will now create your file space, database, and host entries for your local WordPress site. Click Next when complete. Go to your newly created site by either clicking on the link within Desktop Server or opening a browser and typing in your new.dev URL. Follow the familiar prompts to run the WordPress installation and click Install WordPress when done. Log in to your WordPress dashboard. Notice here that there is a new version of WordPress out, version 3.8.1. Let's go ahead and update to the current version. Next, let's install a new theme. Today I am going to be using the Spring theme, which is a totally free theme made by our friends over at 3Themes. You can find them at 3them.es. Activate the theme and then check to be sure that your website appears using the new theme. Once done, return to your dashboard. Now let's add a plugin. For this example, I am going to use Gravity Forms, since it is such a commonly used plugin and requires license information when used. Activate the plugin and then verify it's been activated when looking at your list of installed plugins. For this example, I am going to go into the Gravity Forms settings in order to add my licensing information. Licensing Gravity Forms entitles me to automatic updates and ongoing support. Next, I am going to go back to my list of plugins as it shows that I have an outdated plugin that needs updating. In this case, I have installed an old version of Gravity Forms. Let's go ahead and update that now. As you can see, everything is updated, so it's time to create our Blueprint Archive file. Time to go back to Desktop Server. From the main menu, select Export, Import, or Share a Website, then click Next. Select Export or Deploy a WordPress website, then click Next. On this screen, select the name of the local dev environment that you just created and give the new blueprint a name in the Export As field. Select Export to a Website Archive.zip file, then click Next. Leave the database server information blank and click Next. Verify that your file name for your archive is what you want Click Browse and navigate to your Blueprints directory. On Windows machines, this can be found at c colon backslash xamp light slash blueprints. And on Macs, this resides at applications slash xamp slash blueprints. Click any checkboxes that apply and then click Next. Desktop Server will now create your Blueprint archive. Upon completion, click Next. Next, we're going to verify that the Blueprint works by installing a new local site utilizing our newly created Blueprint. From the main menu of Desktop Server, select Create a New Development Website, then click Next. Select your new Blueprint, give your site a name, and navigate to the directory in which you would like your site installed by clicking the Browse button. Installing a dev site in your Blueprints directory is highly discouraged and we recommend you have a separate directory designated for your local WordPress installations. Once you are ready, click Create. Desktop Server will now create your website using the Blueprint you just created. 
Once desktop server is done, click Next. Verify your new installation by either clicking on the link within desktop server or entering the URL in a new browser window. Visit your dashboard to verify that you are running the current version of WordPress and plugins. As you can see, we are running WordPress 3.8.1 and there are no updates needed. Next, let's verify that our plugins have been installed, updated, and activated. As you see here, by going to the Gravity Form settings, the license is installed, however it is not activated. Clicking on the Save Settings button will activate your Gravity Forms license. A final visit to the website shows that everything is installed and running as it should be. Congratulations, you've just created a working blueprint. Thanks for watching. We hope that you have found this video tutorial to be useful. Our goal is to make software that not only saves you time, but makes your life a lot easier. If you have suggestions for future video tutorials, please feel free to let us know. Also, we'd appreciate it if you'd follow us on Twitter and Facebook.